How's it going guys, RXXC here, and you might notice that I have two chairs here next to me. That's because uh, some of the Raging XXX Cajun crew is actually going to be joining me on camera today. First, we have Matuska. Come on out, buddy. Hello. Give yourself a little intro. Hello, I am Matuska. There you go, perfect intro. <laughs> and next, the uh, graphic designer, the thumbnail maker, the Matrix Matt master himself, Visual, everyone, please. Yes, yes. Wow. Woo. And uh, turns out he's really boring in person, so that's what you're gonna wow. get. <laughs> wow. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. So uh, I got all these guys here together with me because we have been going through the Resurgence set, and we want to do a nice little set review here for you. We got our notes here. I got paper notes. We're getting real serious with this one, um, but. Uh, we're going to try to talk about all of the really important things. We're going to leave out things that we didn't necessarily uh, think had to go into this video. So this isn't a full entire set review. This is the playable or we like We like these cards, so we're going to talk about we them. We like these cards and we're going to talk about them. So um, stick around. It might be a little long, but uh, we're going to give you the best stuff. And I'll throw the cards up on the screen while we talk about them. And y'all can follow along. So we're starting cover, we're at... We're visual face first. We, oh yeah, it, the cards will go here. Oh. <laughs> so you don't have to suffer through this any longer. No, I'm kidding. You're all right, buddy. You're all right. All right, let's do this. So going into what? Ability cards first? Going yeah. through Aquas? Yep. Uh -huh. All right, so first we have Aquify. So what does this card do? Swap the Baku core, attach to the Bakugan you rolled this turn, and the opposing, and the opposing Bakugan. Bakugan. Yeah. So, yeah. Swap so how much does it cost? Uh, Uno. One cost. So, one cost Aquas card called Aquify, and you actually get to switch your cores with yours and the opponents, or if you, you know, vice versa, it goes both ways. Uh, really interesting card there. Um, there. There's two, well, there's three evolutions that'll do it later. Uh, that have the same effect? Yeah. yeah, yeah when you yeah. open them, you flip them. You right. flip the cores. Yeah, so this is a, the ability card, or action card, that does what some of the uh, evolutions do. So it's a mechanic that runs through this set a little bit. Uh, there's an, a lot of new different mechanics running through this set, like re-rolling and stuff that we're gonna be talking about. Uh, but this card's interesting, obviously, because you do get to switch what you have, which we so haven't play, got to see before. You play six traps, and you roll on your trap. Right, yeah. And so, you give them the trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this gives you the opportunity to play like all traps on your side, and then you run into them, play this card, and then you force your opponent to have a trap. So I it's don't know neat. if any of them have magic shields. Definitely a control card. But any of the the Bakugan that have the ability. Yeah. Oh yeah. I so we don't know. know we don't know if they have magic shields, uh, but we're gonna look at that. Um, anyway, uh, so that's Aquify. Next we have Dark Waters, which does what? Dark, dark Waters and Deep Dive are. Yeah, kind I'll, of we'll a, put them both over here. So Dark Waters and Deep Dive. Dark Waters is what? Is plus two hundred B and draw a card. Uh, plus two hundred B and reroll a Bakugan. Deep dive Deep. is draw a card and you may reroll your Bakugan. And yep. both cost one. Yep. Right. So two one costs that both reroll. Yep. Right. So again, new mechanics getting added in the set. They're pretty interesting. Um, playing around with them. Uh, have we uh, did we play with any of these yet? Uh, he I, did. I built the test of heroes. Right, right, right. I, had, I had both of these in here, and if I had it, I wanted to play it. Yeah, because re-rolling is nice, especially like if you have Dan. Dan's good. Dan says whenever you open something, you get to play something for free on the top of your deck. Well, if you re-roll, that means you get to play another thing. Then there's other cards that say you can re-roll, so you can keep activating Dan. So we'll get down to it later. You, but will, something. you will thin your deck very fast, though. Yeah, yeah. you are milling yourself. Uh, my, my the biggest problem I saw was I did a lot of stuff, played a lot of re-rolls, got a lot of cards, and I missed one roll, and I lost the game. Yeah. Yeah. So, you better hope you're doing okay if you're, if you're burning through your deck like that. There's other cards that uh, let you uh, re-roll stuff that we'll get to here in a second. Rerolls are also good for messing with core placements. That's right. <laughs> if you're... <laughs> If you're playing against a Titan Nilius that needs his uh, magic, shield. magic shields and you keep re-rolling, you can go grab their magic shields, put it on your side, re-roll, grab their magic shield, put it on your side, re-roll, and then now they don't have anything to land on, which yep. 
may or may not have happened to me because <laughs> of old boy here. So, uh, <laughs> fun decks are fun. Yeah, it, it gives you a lot of options moving forward. Uh, going on to Hurricane Winds, which is what? 300B, and then you can play an action card that costs four less energy. Plus 300B? For, for free. Yeah, for free. So, it's a three cost, and then you get to play a four or lower cost for free, and then you get 300B power. Right, so it, it gives you B power, and then it kind of puts you ahead of turn on what you can play in your hand. Yeah. I guess, right? So you, you can play a total of seven energy for three energy. Right. Uh, but, uh, I mean, it's free value. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're getting B power and then whatever else you want to play. So, a four cost card. This is an oh, Aquas. So. You, know what, you know what I didn't think about when it I is. first saw this card? What? Uh, this is your free flow enabler. Free it flow enabler. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because uh, you, put, you put in your card on resolution of the card, not right. on putting it into the batch. Right. So whenever that card resolves... You can, as part of the resolution, put in a wave slash, yep. and you get your flow. Yep. Yeah, for a thousand. So, so, so that's so that's plus thirteen hundred. Plus thirteen hundred per three energy. Yep. It's pretty yeah. Good. So yeah. So that's pretty good. That's uh that's definitely max value. Definitely say that. So uh, hurricane winds. Uh, next we have rip time, which is you must reroll your bakugan. If must you, reroll your bakugan. If you open on the reroll, your bakugan gets plus five hundred B, and you draw two cards. Yeah, how much does that cost? Four. Four, Four costs. And you get to re-roll. You must re-roll, so you have to. Mm -hmm. And then you get to draw if you land again, which in Aquas, drawing cards is great, obviously, because you're going to get all your little flowy cards in, uh, get your wave slashes in. Your tides. Uh, tides, that's what I mean. Yeah. But um, yeah. drawing cards is never a bad thing in card games. Even if we have a... Deck a health, is your life. Yeah, deck is your life system. Having the cards in your hand to work with is always very important. Yeah. So... Uh, Riptide's cool. Moving on to Sneak Attack. This is, for the rest of the turn, both players may play evolution cards from their hand for free. It's a six cost. We're really only talking about this card because it's a Bakugan Elite. Yeah, the first uh, action Bakugan Elite card that we have. Yep. It's, what'd you say, it was six cost? Yep. Six cost, and you get to put, both you and your opponent can play Eros for free. Yep. Yeah, so, I mean, at six cost, turn six... Little earlier, I guess, if you're playing Ventus with your Aquas. I think this is only you're, you're cheating out Maximus Hydras either in Chaos right. or Aquas. Yeah, I, I this could be better off in control decks if you can get their hand to a lower size, like discarding cards from their hand. Ah, uh, here's what you do: you play Sneak Attack, and then you play the Titan Garethion that we're going to talk about later. <laughs> So you let your, uh, you, let let your opponent, you let your opponent play all their evos, and, and you, you play the Titan Garethion. Then you boom, <laughs> boom. And then, then you, you play your evos. Then you play your evos, boom. Oh, but I guess you could play them at the same time though, because it's. Well, I mean, once once the card resolves, it says through the end of the turn. This yeah. turn you can play yeah. for free. Yeah. So you just have kind of have to wait for them to do it first. Yeah. I mean, you kind of have to. You kind of have to. I guess you could be baiting it out technically. Yeah. Once you once you resolve yeah. it, you pass it back to them. If they go, ooh, free Evo, play. Then you go because uh, once you roll out, you can't play it till the end phase. You play could, what? You wouldn't be able to play your Titan Gortheon to blow everything up until the end phase. You can play it after they roll out can you? when you're battling. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I'm saying like okay, all right then. You play sneak attack. Now the rest of the turn is free Evos. Y'all both fight. They fight, they go to fight, and they play all their Evos or something because it's free and they have them all their hand. Yeah. And then once they did that, now, since they did it, and you play your Gortheon, then you nuke it, and then you play your, your, your Evos after, and now you're stacked and they're not. So that's kind of interesting. So Remember, hard control back. Yeah. Right, and this it does cost six. Don't play it otherwise. What are the yeah. cards that make things cost cheaper? Uh, like Evolutions? Papyrus card? Pirates, super fuel. Super fuel. It's gonna be later. Yeah, I'll talk about it later. All right. <laughs> <laughs> New set. We keep thinking about things. All right, here we go. Uh, darkest house. We're getting into some darkest oh, cards. Skip one. Yeah, I dark, skipped one. Dark fortune. Just kidding. Dark fortune. Here we go. All right. So what does this do? Three cost. Search your deck for an Evo card. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. So 
So Evo Search. So yeah. it's the first affordable tutor S card? Search card. Yeah. yeah. The, the only other search card was on Leah yeah. and that's a ten cost. Right. That's ten costs <laughs> so, and not feasible. So three cost to ten cost is a lot better, but three cost is kinda I think it fits I don't know if I want to be spending my energy to go find something. That you can't play this turn? Yeah, because I'd be paid three. I I think it falls into that same deck that we just talked about. Right. That yeah. may or may not exist. We just don't know yet. There's Maybe no real meta. Huh? There's no real meta. I mean, yeah, I mean, but fun, can... fun decks are fun. Fun decks are fun. <laughs> if you're having fun, play the deck. Play uh, thirty flips. All right, so uh, dark as how. Moving hey, on. To hey, hey, there's a card. There's a card in the set that says discard that you can put discard flips too. So yeah, if you have flips in your hand, you can discard them. Right. And you get for, something for something. Them. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, moving on. Uh, darkest Howl, So darkest cards. Four cost. Uh, four hundred B sacrifice. You may discard a, a card for plus one thousand B. We heard you like stone skin. Let's make it a little better. Right. So stone skin for one more energy. So later in the game, and you get a much higher boost. So what? Stone skin was three hundred, then eight hundred. Three hundred eight. This was four than a thousand. Yep. For one more energy. So a little more. Power three. Yeah. And so, um, that's about. I don't know what you would run. Like it's two, about on par. Like run like two stone skin, two darkest how, or what is this called? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or would you play like? I. It just depends on your deck. Yeah, I think it really just depends. Yeah. No one's really playing darkest Ventus. Uh. Maybe. It's just that later on you have. It, I mean. This is definitely better late game. Yeah. Yeah, for 100%. sure. For one more energy, but still. It's it's in the sweet spot of. You want it, your your mid range decks want it, but your faster decks want to play stone skin. Right. Yeah. So I mean, it just gives us more options for Darkus, and Darkus had. Or if you if you really want to play them all, play them all. Yeah, I mean, play them all. I mean, Darkus had like stone skin to help it with B power, and then like two other things, and that was it. So it just gives it another option, which is just good mm -hmm. faction wise, anyway. Yep. So, uh, it's another option for you. There you go. Alright, moving on to Mind Control. <clears throat> uh, five cost. Your opponent reveals their hand. You may play an action card from it for free, gain its effect, and put it in your opponent's discard pile. Right, so you get to play your opponent's cards out of their hand before they get to them. It is a five cost. Five cost, but you get to play whatever it is for free? Yep. Yep. You're paying, you're paying five to hopefully get some... It says action Good card. It, it says action, action card. Yeah, so you can't go grab their Magnus and put it on your side of the field. <laughs> that would be busted. But no, so we're grabbing ability cards here. Or action. I keep calling them ability cards. Action cards. Um, and it's I mean, five cost? Five cost. So where would that be worth it? You could grab a wave slash. Uh, would I would... Would, that, would the flow activate off that? It should. It's the same resolution. You played a card and then you grabbed it but and you played it. Yeah. Are you playing the card? Yeah, you're playing the card. It says play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'd All play right. mind control and for the... for. Yeah, yeah, that should work. Yeah, because yeah. you are playing the card. Yeah. So, I mean, you can take a wave slash from them. And it goes to the discard and you get to see your opponent's hand. What are really expensive action cards that people are playing? Huge knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if your opponent happens to be running huge knowledge, you can go grab that. I don't even think that's on this list. It is. It is on, it's definitely on the list. It is, it is on definitely this on this right. list. Uh, we're going to talk about that later. You'll see why it's huge knowledge. Huge. huge. All right. Uh, so mind control is pretty cool. Playing cards from your opponent's hand for yourself. I'm, I'm going to stick a card in here that I didn't have that we didn't write down right now. Uh, right now. All right. I'm going to stick in Thunderbolt in here. Thunderbolt? Oh, uh, that's the... One one cost, plus three damage rating. So it's color shifted fireball. Yeah. Right, Which yeah, is fireball yeah. for Darkest. Yeah, it's yes. Darkest fireball. Which is great. So it's just Which another is... thing for Darkest. Um, yeah. D Darkest... I felt like Darkest had like the weakest pool of action cards for like... Fighting? With the first yeah. set? It so, had a lot of disruption, more or less. It had, yeah. it had a lot of, I yeah. want to interact with my opponent, yeah. but... You, there's yeah. not a whole lot of interaction you can do with discarding one card. Discarding one card while also trying to win stuff. Shadow Strike, all an ability card's not too good. Yeah. There yeah. is a. They did get. Uh, Darkest did have the best flip card. It did have That's the best right. flip card. 
It did get. Uh, we didn't get any of those crazy flips that make them free. Nope. During this, uh, they're all in the first through this set. They're all in the first show. Yeah. I guess that's probably a good thing. Yeah, I don't right. know if we'll see any for a while. I yeah. guess they Aquas did. didn't have one. Aquas did not have one. Well, they had a brain geyser. Brain geyser, brain geyser which, which was nerfed to the ground. Yeah, it, 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 it well, fixed. I busted. <laughs> Hi, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna. Have, go I'm gonna draw out. 15 cards real yeah. quick. No, glad they uh, glad they changed that, because that that would suck for a lot of people. All right, uh, moving on. Theos. from minding control, mind con minding control, minding control, minding, minding my own control. Here we go. Uh, going into chaos cards, we have blinding light. Uh, two cost, plus 200 B for each hero card you have in play. Right. So this is what you were running. Yeah, I I built. My initial thought was that for this set was uh, white blue hero spam, which turned into white blue red hero spam, yeah. which turned into like twenty five yeah. heroes right. in a saw, deck. If you saw me tweet, if you saw me tweet the other day. I was talking about my uh, takeaways from our first night of testing, and I said something about if you want to play twelve heroes per game or more, this is the set for you. <laughs> and then this card gives you two hundred B per hero out. I, I think I think I hit. Blinding Light for plus 2,000 B at some point right. that night. Yeah, because you had everything. Shargo, 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 Dan, Dan, Shun. Everett, Everett, Shun, Shada. Shun, Shada. Yeah, it yeah. was crazy. But his deck was playing like the Dan and then the reroll, so he got a free hero, free hero, yeah. go get this, free hero, and then the cards that say heroes cost less, and then you get free hero, free hero. He played like six heroes one turn. Yeah. Uh, I played solitaire for a solid ten minutes. Yeah. And then I we went to the next turn, and then I missed my roll and I lost. <laughs> right. So. Um, but Everett's usually always free in that deck because you're playing cards off the top. Everett's of the day. free. After the first strata, everything becomes super affordable. The new yeah. strata. The new strata, which new we'll get strata, to later. Which we'll talk about. We're doing everything in order from action and then flip. And no, then we're trying to go in order, but we keep jumping to the end of the list. So uh, let's <laughs> move know. on with the look, list. Look, look. <laughs> so, we got to hit all the points. I know. Blinding Light. Good card. <laughs> yep. Moving forward. Uh, since this set does have a lot of uh, hero help. Uh, going on to Holy Flame. Is this the card with the Pegatrix with the... Yes. Yeah, so cool looking Rapidash. card. Rapidash. Yeah, it's a Rapidash with blue fire. A shiny Rapidash. There you go. Shiny Rapidash. There you go. Pokemon channel now? No? Yes, okay. yes please. Uh, <laughs> All right. Holy you're, Flame. You're, you're, you have three Pokemon players sitting in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Flame. What's it do? Uh, let me find it. Plus 300 if that Bakugan is holding a fist. Plus 600B instead. So it's one cost 600B for your Pegatrix decks. This is very. Pegatrix got a decent amount of support. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Core Pegatrix. Okay, so this goes. If they have a Green Fist? Yep. Yeah, Green so Fist plus 600B. I'm going to throw a Mega Punch up on the screen here because. Yeah, we can talk about this right yeah, now. Attach so. a Fist from the field to an open Bakugan for one. Yeah. Right. So for one energy, you go play Mega Punch, grab yourself a Green Fist if you happen to not land on it. Get your Pegatrix buff. Then, go play Holy Flame. If it's on the green fist, which you just got for it, how much does Holy Flame cost? Plus, uh, one. one. For Holy plus, Flame's one? Yeah, Holy so Flame is one. This um, is a two energy combo. Oh, uh, God, Pegatrix is going to be so good. See, you would just play this in an all green fist deck. Yeah, so then if, and, if it's on the green fist, you get what? 800? Plus, plus 600. Plus 600? On turn and one. And green two. fist got new buddies, too. Right, and green fist has a lot of help next to it, so... Look, if you're looking at new things to play, if you don't have a Chaos Pegatrix core yet, go find Preferably one. Diamond. Yeah, go find you the Diamond 3-pack if you haven't yet. You know, go pick it up. We, we, we saw one in January. And haven't seen it since. Haven't seen it since. Right, I haven't seen any. Last I, I don't think, I've seen, I don't think I've seen, seen like 20 Diamond Hydras Ultras. <laughs> I don't think we've seen a Diamond here since that 3-pack. Right, yeah. We probably won't see any until the new 3-pack comes out. Yeah, and I don't... I have no hope for that, but <laughs> finding that. Anyway, so Holy Flame with Mega Punch on your Pegatrix is going to be something to behold. For two energy, you go up like 1,200 B power ish. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. what is it? Plus 500 if you get the Green Fist? Something like that. That depends for what? on if you're the for the Pegatrix. <laughs> Just on the basic. You do the math yourself, but anyway, uh, anyway, Pegatrix is something to look at for sure. Going on to Divine Intervention. What does this do? Four cost, you must reroll your Bakugan. If you open on the reroll, you may play that Bakugan's Evo card for free. Like if it's in your hand? Yes. Oh, yeah. I didn't see this card. That's interesting. So yeah, four cost, 
then you, can... you must re-roll. You have to re-roll, but if you land on anything, you have to, you have to if, open. if you open, you open, put a put one of the evos into play. Or put that Bakugan's evo into play for free. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that opens the door for like really expensive evos. Diamond Max Dual Ultra. Right. And this is a Chaos card. It yeah. is. Okay. So uh, Maximus Hydrus. Maximus. Yeah. Yeah. Maximus Hydrus. Really expensive. Easy to open. <clears throat> Very easy yeah. to open. The new Chaos Maxator, which I guess we were going to talk about. Yeah. Yep. It's um, on there. Very expensive. Very powerful, I think. Right? Yeah. Pretty yeah. good. So that yeah. opens the door for a lot of things. So you've got a four cost. Hope you're good at rolling. And then you can jump up. I didn't know this card was a thing. That's if great. you're not good at rolling, go to Jet Kuzo's it channel. <laughs> Shout out to Jet Kuzo. Shout out to Jet Kuzo. Um... I, I, I need I need all of his teachings because y'all know I can't open anymore. I've gotten better. I you're about to see because we're about to record some more gameplay. I'm getting good. <laughs> kind of. Fear me. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, divine Intervention. So that's really cool. I didn't know that card was a thing. My, my only downside with it is that it's four cost. Yep. Like right. A high. It's a four little cost, high. But yeah. it has a plus factor. It, high yeah. risk, high reward. It's very high risk, high reward. Right. Because I, I see... Divine it doesn't give you any B-Power or anything, right? Nope. It nope. just says you get to... Okay. Nope, but I that see... That gives you the B-Power. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, see yeah, yeah. Divine Intervention into uh, whatever Maxator Ultra into... I don't know. Just high cost thing. Uh, into Leah, into Toshi, into Magnus, into... Oh, yeah. I'm liking this. Yeah. All right, I didn't know that card was a thing, so that's very interesting. All right, uh, we talked about Mega Punch going on. What does this say? Shield? Oh, what is that? You just wrote Shield. Oh, it's the uh, Shield of the Blessings or whatever it's called. Shield oh. of the Faithful. Shield, shield of the Faithful. Shield of the Faithful. What does this do? Five cost, plus nine damage rating, if holding a red shield or yellow shield. Basic, draw two cards. Basic shield, yep. Draw two cards. So five cost, you get a lot of attack power there, and you get to draw again. Yeah, so, draw, two cards. Draw, two draw two cards. cards. Very good. Uh, I mean, drawing stuff, like I said, is pretty nice. Is it Chaos, though? Yep, it's Chaos. Yeah, so... High cost. Is that, it, Chaos doesn't have shield. many draw cards, right? Besides yeah, it, Trip, Colonel Armstrong, Armstrong? Trip. 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 Yeah. Stoic Shot or something Stoic like that? Stoic Shot uh, is draw two, two energy draw card, Domination draw two. Right, yeah. Yep. So, more... Um, uh, and more then Skies Him. Skies Him. Skies Him sets you up. But domination draw card. Yeah. Right. Uh, so and you set the top three. And then draw apocalypse card. is draw cards. Four plus five hundred B domination draw three cards. Three cards. Yeah. Okay. So, so so there's draw cards there. It's just there. So is, is this a better option than any other? Uh. Can it be? It's a five cost. It's a five cost. Yeah. So is it better than trip? What trip is three cost. Trip is yeah. three. It requires you to attack. Not yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you have to win. Cutocalypse <clears throat> is four cost. Four for plus 500 B. Yep. I think you're still going to go with cute. Yeah, probably Cute's more good. Cutocalypse. Interesting, though, more options for five costs. And, again, there are cards in this set that say play things for less. Yeah. Always a, always something to consider now that we have some of these cards going for. I think we're moving on to the fun cards now. Right, so this is pirate stuff, right? So Why Pyrus <laughs> got, part? like, I would say, like, six really good cards in this set. So Pyrus is... Hands down, best faction in the set. Right, yeah. They, it's like they just wanted it to be good. They, they made, what, two one-off dance? Like, one-off dance? What do you mean? One one-off dance. One one-off dance? What's, That's the first card. What's Air Zero? That's oh, yeah, they, t they took a... Okay, Air let's, Air just, let's just go through it. Hold on. Air Zero, two yeah. cost. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it's not a flip card, you may play it for free. Yep. Right, so a Dan and a card. How much cost? Two. Two cost. So you get a Dan effect early. Um, but right. what I like about Air Zero is that before you roll, you can pay two on turn two to play Air Zero. So then you could flip a Dan. Yeah. Or a thing. you could flip a Titan Dragon. <laughs> you could flip a Titan Dragonoid. That's right. And this is before you pick. This is before you... You could flip another Air Zero. You could, you, you could flip another more. Air Zero. Or you could 
they go shoot super cool. Yeah, these these flip over play effect things are getting kind of crazy in Pyrus. They're busted. Like hard percent. I feel like we should like put up a chain, like the longest chain we can think of of flipping things over. I I think the other night I hit Dan trigger it's Dan into then... air zero into air zero into another Dan into a reroll effect. Into Dan Zero, Dan. Dan Zero. <laughs> Dan Zero. <laughs> into Dan Trigger, Dan Trigger, getting a reroll effect, uh, something else. Uh, Dan. And then two more Dan Triggers. Yep. After so I how many cards out of your deck was that uh, before you before you played the game? Too many. <laughs> too many. Too many. So these are options, people. All right, moving on to anger. Uh, we got a two cost plus three hundred to be. Fury, if you have no cards at hand, draw two. Is that right? Yeah. So, it it, it nets you cards yeah, so you, before. It's it's low enough on the Fury to make it want you make you want to play it as your last card in your hand. Yeah, because you're right, just getting right, cards right. back. Yeah, so. And it's faster than Mom. Yeah. There's, there's Fury support with this set, too, because um, there's a there's a big Pyrus card that really needs fury that we're going to talk about in a second. And then there's a big uh, turtle, turtle boy that helps the Pyrus card Get do the fury. thing. So uh, fury is a little more important than it used to be and uh, easier to work with. Or I've heard people to were playing about. fury before. We never got really around to it. We never made a fury deck. Yeah. I tried. Yeah, people were playing with... Um, Serpentine's Ultra. You, you play, you play Serpentine's Ultra, and well, now you play Darkest Tartarian Ultra and right. Pyrus Halcor Ultra. Yeah, so then, Ultra, yeah. yeah, that's pretty much a set team now if you're wanting to play Fury, or I guess Pyrus Darkest, anyway. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. All right, uh, Super Fuel. This is great card. special. Oh. Special card. <laughs> For one energy. One energy. If you open on the reroll, the next card you play... This turn costs three less energy. So you're so you're paying one to pay one for a Dan. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty nuts. I, I posted it on Twitter uh, probably the day before this came out or whenever you're watching it. Um, turn to Dan. Turn to Dan. Yep. It's I, I don't know. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, I, Dan. Then later on, if you just want to reroll, it's one energy to reroll. Yeah, I, I to think, trigger your Dan. I think <laughs> yeah. I did. Uh... And look, we're not saying Dan's the best card in the game because we're talking about him a lot. We made a couple of decks with all these new cards, and we we just had a lot of Dan triggers happening in one night. So if it sounds like we're like obsessed with Dan, we know there's other cards. Dan, for sure. We were playing Dan before with the Titan Dragonoid deck into yeah. the Nilius deck. It's that was also really. It's good. more like it's just funny. How, good How it is. more you can use it, and I, I don't want to say they didn't think about it, but and we're saying Dan, if you're playing this stuff with Ventus, how much energy could you get in one turn, off of Winton? Oh yeah. Oh we haven't, geez. we haven't even thought about this. Oh, I didn't think about it that way. Oh, I thought about it today. I just didn't think we were talking about Why it. Why did you tell me? Oh no, yeah. So like, <laughs> <laughs> so Winton, if you open. You get to draw an energy, or put an energy down, right? Yeah. So we have all these reroll effects. Charge. So you can get to 15 energy on Winton to get your... Fifth, what is it? 150. Oh, 1500 B power added on. Dude. And then there's this new guy called uh, Titan Trox Ultra. who gets 1,000 from Winton anyway. So then you're up to 3,500, which beats Titan Drago when he's got Dan out. So basically, Trox is better. Hey, you know when we when we, fi when we finally get our hands on resurgent cards that if one of us opens a Titan Trox Ultra I'm and it's getting, not you, I'm getting it. Are oh, you? you're not getting that card. I'll give, I'll give you all the money. <laughs> what is it? I get all. I will give you money. <laughs> five five uh, good hard earned uh, dollars. Oh, five. I like somebody buy a bunch of Matrix mats so I can get. <laughs> Shameless plug, we have these mats <laughs> called, uh, that this, this year fella makes. They're all, um, I make them. they're called Matrix mats. And, uh, here's one on the screen. I feel like I do a good job, so buy them, please. It's right here. Do you see it? They're gorgeous, right? Go check out Kimbo's channel, Kimbo Slice. 
If you just got a new mat and it's sick. I'll make you a custom one for the low price of $20. That's right. You uh, completely custom. You message visual here and uh, he does whatever you want. Whatever you want. I will not put Bakugan art on there though. Right. Back to cards. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, reroll effects in Linton. I thought y'all thought about that already. I you didn't know? think about this. I did. So I've been in well, virus mode lately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were so I guess we were so distracted with Dan, but I was sitting there like, wow, I can't wait to build a Ventus deck. I'm, I'm about to go grab that pirate sticker and just like <laughs> stick it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um I don't even know where we were. Anger, super cool. We did fire. super fuel. Uh, wait, Quick super fire. fuel. One of the best cards in the set? Definitely. Yes. The best card in the set? Top no, top five. Mm, top five. Top five card in the set. Top super five. fuel. Buy it. Common, right? Uh, uh, no, 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 it's a, it's a super rare. rare. Super rare. So, uh, so basically a rare. Right. So uh, the rares in this game are basically uncommon. Right, right, right. Alright, so moving on to a card called Quick Fire. Quick Zero fire. cost. Make a Pirates Attack for one. You may reroll your Bakugan. Make a Pirates Attack for one. So, for one. Right, so new, uh, new deal here uh, with a new set. New. There was a card in set one that did this. Really? Yep. Ooh. Durin Dane. Durian Dane. He did this? Yeah, but he was unplayable. He was 11 energy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. He's a hero. Oh, you. Yeah. Yeah, uh, okay. Somebody, New thing. Forget him. <laughs> somebody asked a question about this on the Reddit. Uh, the, the make an attack, make a faction attack for this much, it is not another damage step. It just happens. Yeah, yeah. so I make a pirate attack damage. for two. Discard two cards. Yeah. Right? Uh, moving down to Twisting Inferno. Three cost. You place the Bakugor on the... Oh, hold on. Remove an enemy Bak Bakugan's Bakugor and negate its effects. You place the Bakugor onto the field face down. If one of your Bakugan are holding a regular fist... Regular fist. Draw a card. So, Hot Potato for one more to draw a card. Yep. Cool. If you're holding Pirates a draw a card card. Yes. Yep. Is that the first power nope. draw card? Sifting Ashes. Sifting Ashes. Well, okay. Yeah. So uh, Sifting Ashes. Minus, or sorry. draw two, discard you're two. You're drawing cards. You're not hand advantage. You're yeah. yeah. So, uh, interesting there. Uh, all right, guys. We're back. We had to cut there uh, to make sure I was still recording because I am, uh, I'm known to just turn it off and uh, miss a whole game of gameplay. Did that one time. Don't want to do it again. Anyway, so uh, we want to circle back to Aquas real quick because we missed something uh, and it is called Blinding Ink. It is a two cost, negate an action card that costs three energy or less. Right, so uh, now Aquas has three negates, right? What's the other one? Well, we triple have, blast we have cannon. Vest, triple blast cannon and absorb. There's another one. Oh, There's a negate one. hero card. Negate a hero, okay. So they have four. Aquas has that? Aquas has that. Okay, so Aquas is your negating faction the, here. The negate a hero card was very much less relevant till this set. Yeah, and now you might want to do that. I mean, Garg. <laughs> Gargoyle's Gaze was always better than that card, though. True. Right. Because yeah. it's destroy it. Yeah, Gargoyle's Gaze is the best. Yeah, because the, 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 the card's going to three in <laughs> every darkest deck. Right. Now, for sure. The So, back to our Ventus cards. Uh, did we talk about Crystal Quake? Nope, this is the first Ventus card. This is the first right, Ventus so, card. Oh, well, to the top of the Ventus list. All right, uh, so Crystal Quake, what we got? Four cost, draw two cards, turbo, if you have the most energy cards in play, Give an opposing Bakugan minus 700 B. Okay, so if you have your turbo, you lower and you draw cards. I like mm -hmm. that. I like that for Ventus because I always found playing Ventus, especially when I was playing mono Ventus, I never had cards in my hand. Yeah, it, it, the, the draw cards being not conditional to turbo right. makes this card a lot better. Right, right, yeah. right, yeah. So you always get the draw card. But it is yeah. for four. For four, but it's... Energy's not going to be a problem. This is true. It's Ventus. <laughs> As we discussed earlier with Winton, what's you about can to recharge test. all your energy. With I still don't know about. Well, I know you can do that, but I don't know if it's like magic where you can. We'll need tap answer. out, float all your stuff, and then recharge it all using some effect. Is there floating energy in this game? We need an answer. Yes or no? Click that poll up in the top. VK. <laughs> anyway, or VK, please. Yeah, VK. please answer my question. A little more reliable than 160 people <laughs> splitting their votes. All right, here we go. Um, now, Etropic or Etropic Blast. Minus 200B, Turbo, you have the most energy in play. Minus 400B instead, it's a one cost. We got Tides for 
Pentos. Right. So your Negative fact, your yeah, your yeah. faction, faction affects faction stacking specific cards. tides. Yeah, faction specific for Ventus, except you're lowering their stuff. Now it's not as powerful as tides or whatever. Oh yeah. No, it's the same numbers. Tides. It's not wave slash. Right. Yeah, this is tide. yeah, this is tides. This, yeah, is, this tides. is exactly tides, but tides, yeah. but negative numbers. I get tides, tides and wave slash confused a lot. Well, you should. They're just water, and they're both like water pictures. One's the little water, the other's big water. One's the little yeah. water, one's the big <laughs> water. Anyway, so now Ventus has that, so maybe we'll get a Ventus wave slash later. That'd be, that would be nuts. Ooh. Yeah. Minus a thousand for turbo. Yeah. That'd be nuts. For three energy. Yeah, maybe that'll happen one day. Maybe not. Maybe that's too much. Because you don't have to do anything. Yeah. Unlike Shadow Strike exists. Shadow Strike. Well, you don't have to do too. anything at all because you play Greater Water Boost for zero. This is true. <laughs> maybe we'll see it. Who knows? <laughs> so all right. Free? Yeah. All right. Going on to huge knowledge. <laughs> the huge. best card in the set. The best. Uh, the best art. <laughs> <laughs> I am Giant Turtle Boy. <laughs> I am Giant Turtle. Uh, 10 cost. Woo! Energize each card in your disc called. Discard pile, uncharge. Right. I am Giant Turtle Boy. Yeah, I am Giant Turtle Boy with all kinds of energy. Um, this will definitely get you to your winning spot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, at 10 energy, you should have 10 energy, and then you get the rest of it. When are you actually going to need this? Never, but it's fun. Never, because we figured out when to. But right. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a cute card. It is a very cute card. Oh, yeah, I love the art. So, I um, will hate pulling these when I could be pulling stuff like Halcor or right. Well, this is not Tartonium. a Huh? But this is not a BE. Are you sure? It's a awesome ring. Yeah. I thought this was BE. No. Is it BE? No, it's not. It's awesome rare. But it awesome? if you, you could oh, pull, it is awesome rare. You could pull the Max. For, <laughs> for some reason, I thought this was BE. Yeah, maybe it's a BE. <laughs> I would have literally ripped this card in half. <laughs> Fat turtle. <boy. laughs> I... For whatever reason, when I first saw this, I thought this was B. This is why I wanted to talk about it. <laughs> no, no, no. No. <laughs> no. But, All like, right. if you pull this, you could be pulling, like, a Maximus Mantinoid Ultra instead, because that's an awesome rare. Yeah. And then you're just like, oh, oh, oh man. Oh. <laughs> Sad day. In invest in your Mantinoids. Your right. It's like, it's like open guard, like open guard I'm sure there'll be huge knowledge collectors out there who just want to help us all and have binders full of huge knowledge. <laughs> Are we, you know, you know Cosmic Brain? The Cosmic Brain meme? Uh, uh, yeah. Switch one with huge knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> moving on from this <laughs> dumb card. All right. Uh, the last Ventus card we're going to talk about here is Solar Powered. Yep. yep. Solar Powered. Three costs. Another turtle card. Three right. costs. Energize this uncharged. And you may turtle. roll a Bakugan. Is that right? Yep. Three energized, uncharged. We roll a Bakugan. So it puts you ahead. It does everything you want to do in a deck. You re-roll for free. Because you recharge? No, no, no. Wait, Energize so you... this uncharged. Oh, you get the energy yeah, in yeah. it. Yeah. So you turn to energy the card. Right. And you can re-roll the Bakugan. So it's so turn to energy with... Turn to energy for uh, one more... Uh, you, 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 but you, you have play... to play it in the middle of your turn, not the end. Like, turn to energy. Okay. Yeah. 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 Technically. So another cool Ventus energy card. Um, there, I play effect. this over turn to energy. You would play this over turn to energy? Yeah, probably so. Like no turn to energy? Uh, probably. Really? Yeah, because, I, I mean, with Winton, Winton re-rolls. I'd rather re-roll and win the battle. It's than... just because it says you may. You don't have to. You could play yeah. at the end of the turn. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. It says you may. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So it's an option. Um, I do like the turn two turn to energy, though, to put me up a turn. Because that means turn three, I get my win. Uh, we're forgetting two cards on this list in the Ventus section. Uh, Stone Blade, one cost, plus two damage. If your Bakugan is holding a regular fist, energize this uncharged. I think that's a good card. Two, how much damage? Two damage. Plus, it's two for one. If you're holding a green fist, energize this card uncharged. Okay. What uh, green fist Ventus stuff do we have? We don't have to play Mono Ventus. But... Fangzor. Ultra. Fangzor Ultra. Ooh. And he's spicy. Uh, I like yeah. I mean, you. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's not. Uh, it's Ventus. not color specific. Yeah, it's not color specific. So you yeah. can play it. Or faction specific. So if you're playing like chaos, correct. If you're playing chaos, 
Ventus, whatever. Yeah, like a Pegatrix. Pegatrix. Not like he needs more help. So anyway, this next. gets more energy. You said we're forgetting two cards? And then, uh, what was the other one? Uh, Shatterfist, kind of. It's just a one card. It's literally the same card, but you don't get to uncharge, or you don't get to place one uncharged. But it's basically the fireball for Ventus, but minus one. Oh, okay. So it's just plus two damage. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's minus attack? Or no, it's plus attack? two. No, plus two attack. Okay. Normally, Ventus does minus stuff, so at least it gives you option to boost Ventus with Ventus. But I, I don't, it's literally the same card as Stoneblade, but Stoneblade, you get a better... For same cost? Yeah. So just play your Stoneblades. Play Stoneblade. If you're playing that, all right. Um, 